Hello again, this is Jeff, N9IZ, back here in the ham shack. I haven't done a video for quite a while, and I thought I might do another one here. Been working on various projects over here on the workbench. I've got the vacuum tube voltmeter I picked up. Still have the big linear amplifier up there, haven't got that fixed yet. Uh, but one of the items I've been working on here recently has been two Astron RS70 uh, 70 amp power supplies. I picked these two power supplies up. They're wired for 220 volts at uh, Dayton this year. And in the lower left corner of my shack, uh, you, you see a really bright light, and that's part of the test stand uh, that I've got configured. Uh, so, what you see right now basically is my primary operating position. I've got the power SDR running on the flex. And I've got EasyPal running in the background. Uh, some guys are doing some digital uh, slow scan. I got that running in the background, just uh, checking up uh, what might be going on there. Right here, if I can come in real tight, is my so called test stand. Uh, I worked on this power supply, cleaned it all up, and I had no way of knowing if it's going to run or for how long. Uh, you, you never know. Uh, what I did was I found halogen 12 volt uh, 75 watt lamps uh, like go in many spotlights uh, track lighting and whatnot uh, so I wired these up in parallel and um, that gives me something like 250 watts of power to use basically as a load for the power supply uh, before I hook anything critical up to it I've want to make sure that the power supply is going to provide a, a decent amount of power and be fairly stable and reliable so these lamps uh, they, they should be uh, ideal for the purpose uh, so here's the side of here's the side of the power supply as I come up uh, here's a view down inside of it move my microphone out of the way All right so there's the inside of the power supply and in the back I've got my 12 volts coming out and I've also got it hooked up to a digital voltmeter which I'm using just a kind of a check the calibration okay so back here there's the uh, test stand again I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit, a little bit better view from this direction. Uh, you can see the lights, and they're not shining right directly on us. So I've got the, the, this is the inside cover, or the the out, the outside top cover for the power supply. I've got the light bulb setting on it, and hopefully they get in, getting a little bit of air and not gonna overheat or blow up or anything. And I've got the the cover sitting on ceramic and glass, so it's. Nothing is directly touching anything flammable. Uh, these suckers are pretty hot. I wish I had a um, infrared thermometer. I could shoot at them and see just exactly how hot they are. All right, so if we come up close, here's the front of the power supply. And if I block the light just a little bit with my hand, maybe you can see it a little easier. Uh, it looks like it's pulling about 16 Oh, 16 amps or so, which is uh, about what it should pull if you do the calculations. Um, it's right around 16 amps or so for a 250 watt load. And I've got the meter set for 14 volts. There. There's the meter, about 16 amps on the ammeter. And just for fun there's my digital digital voltmeter is reading 14 14 uh, to 14.01 it hasn't moved from there regardless of whether I've got any load on here or not so seems to be pretty steady I have no way of knowing for sure uh, with uh, without hooking an oscilloscope up and looking for ripple I guess that's about got all I got uh, at this point um, this was the other item right here that I picked up at Dayton Hamvention. Uh, this Go Kit. Uh, it's a FT 
897D Yesu with all the various accoutrements and things that interface it with a computer to do sound card modes or to operate uh, field day or whatever you want to do. I didn't really need it. It was just something uh, something looked like a fun fun kit uh, to have around, and I thought I might use it at some point. Uh, so primarily, I use the flux radio. I'll come back, come back here. Uh, here we have the flex. You can see in the background. You can see uh, the signal from the digital slow scan as it's uh, reading. Somebody's transmitting right now. I've got the volume turned down, so I don't know if you can hear it or not. But uh, I don't know if we're going to get any picture or not on that uh, on that round. Sometimes it decodes and sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so enough of the half-naked gal. Uh, someone will probably like that or someone will probably not like that. You never know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to scan back around here and uh, get ready to go in the house. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and uh, maybe, uh, maybe you thought it was uh, interesting and you got something out of it and maybe enjoyed looking at uh, my shack and some of the junk sitting on my workbench. Always got, uh, always got a project. Always something going on. Till next time, 73. This is Jeff in 9IZ from Thorntown. Goodbye.